forever and ever, Lord. In the name of Jesus, God. Galatians 5.16 So I say, live by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. There is amazing power when we live by the Spirit of God for it is no longer our weak spirit we live by but the Spirit of power, the Spirit of love, and the Spirit of truth. For this same Spirit is the Spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. The same Spirit that impregnated Mary and the same spirit that will be received by the believers before Christ returns. Oh friend, let us not grow weary in doing good for the spirit of Christ will renew our minds, brush us off and give us the strength to take another step so we too may smell like the smoke of warfare as we go forth to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ, the mighty redeemer of life itself and the very king of existence from whence all things were made. So I say, live by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. For the sinful nature desires what is contrary to the spirit and the spirit what is contrary to the sinful nature. My friends, they battle against each other for the flesh desires things of wickedness. Oh friend, our flesh desires adultery, drunkenness, fits of rage, envy, desire factions. Oh friend, listen to the scriptures of life. Live by the spirits and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. For the fruit of the spirits is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. When we live in the spirits, we do not gratify the lustful desires of the flesh, but we live by that spirit that Christ himself lived by. Oh friend, let us live in that Holy Spirit so we may rise up from the ashes of sin and into the light of eternity, giving glory to our Father in heaven who is amazing in all ways, who is worthy of our praise. May we worship him in spirit and truth.